well, hopefully and a few weeks or so we'll know if the babies well they're not babies right now but the eggs hopefully hopefully will produce some baby chickens we don't know yet we don't know what's gonna happen or what's gonna happen with the eggs but um, hopefully it will work out and we will have some youngins aboard. Uh, Gretchen's being a good, good chicken. She was not a happy camper earlier. <laughs> she's still in there right now. Of course, she's being a Brody. Took her out because um, sometimes um, she will get out and sometimes another chicken will go in there and like lay an egg or something and we went and checked it. there's like five eggs under her plus the fertile eggs so she didn't like that being taken out and she was clucking up a storm and her feathers were like really bushy she was not happy I felt bad but uh, yeah we had to do what we had to do and that was that <laughs> it's like getting really cloudy and windy. I'm enjoying it. It's been humid and hot all day. So yeah, I think I'll take clouds in the wind. What you doing down there? What you doing down there? What's the matter? What's the matter, honey? These are the two newbies. They've been blending in very, very well. They haven't been fighting. Well, they haven't fought that much anyway. They're more down here than they are up on the ramp. So that's awesome. Right, girls? Isn't that awesome? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. This one right here, that's Betty. She loves being held. She's the only, only chicken hen that lets us hold her. You know, the other ones didn't get held very much, I don't think. As far as I know, I don't know. Beyond, you know, they're two years old when we got them, so I don't know how their handling was when they were younger. But, um,. Once in a while, I can get a pat or two from them, and you know they, they don't they don't like run away or anything. Like they, they they come up to me and you know get a little peck or two, or they'll look up at me and like sniff, you know, curious, and all that good stuff. But uh, I think from the rating of their yelling and screaming when we come up down the hill from the house down here and they always yell and scream I think they 100% love us because they're well fed they get fed they get pampered <laughs> make sure they don't get hot we spray down their run so get it kind of like moisty so be kind of like cool for them and then we give them fresh water and stuff like that You know, we see them, they seem like they're overheating, which I've only seen it with one of them, um, with one of the chickens, but it wasn't bad, um, sometimes they'll pant, so what we do is we don't spray them directly heavy with the hose, but we give the chickens, like, a misty spray, that will help them a lot to keep cool. Yeah, you just don't give them a heavy um, spray because you don't want to scare them and freak them out, you know? <laughs> it's like a light mist. <laughs> you got one of them right on the perch. Hot 
darling. You have a phone up there? If I can share my education on poultry, you know, on chicken, I don't mind sharing what I know, as long as it's right, it makes sense. I'm not like a pro at this, but it's not hard to learn, and I'm learning every day, and like, we come a long way. I mean, look, my chickens are happy and healthy, so I'm doing something right here. Especially with the check, uh, with the turkeys. They're growing pretty big. They're going pretty big. And happy and strong. Hey, Brenda? Are you a happy chicken? What's the matter? Are you a happy chicken? Ah, ah daddy's coming. That's why they're talking. <laughs> that's the... Yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about, folks. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> all saying hi to Daddy. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Oh, <laughs> it's like, what you got? You got anything good for me? I gave him the carrots, but they just been picking at it. Silly chicken. Silly chicken. <laughs> <laughs>